Hi everyone, I'm Sanaya Edwards. And I just want to start off with a short story about making some noise. Please stick with me, there's a point. Growing up, I was a loud kid, which is quite different from how I am now, and probably quite surprising to a lot of you. In elementary school, I really loved riding the bus home because I was able to hang out with my friends that weren't in my class. On the bus, we would laugh and sing very loudly and were overall just rowdy. You could say, full of childhood joy. On a particularly loud day, the bus driver was backing up the bus at a turn and singled me out amongst all the kids. She yelled, Sanaya, stop yelling, sit down, and be quiet. And in my fourth grade mind, I thought, wait, I'm having fun. I'm happy. I'm being a kid. In defiance, I yelled back at her, no, it's my freedom of speech. <laughs> Needless to say, I did get in a bit of trouble because apparently it's a safety issue when a bus driver can't hear their own thoughts while they're in charge of the lives of 50 kids and a 12-ton bus. She called my mom. At that time, my mom appreciated my independence of thought. My young mind was on the right track, but a little misguided. The moral of the story is that there is a time and place to make noise. So, on to three great reasons to make some noise. First, sticking up for what's right. Being loud when your voice needs to be heard. Some examples I can think of are the school's name is changing. This is because that was the noise that was made by Sledge and Jeremy and the whole hashtag what's our school, what's our name movement in our school. Our words and our opinions matter. Our school will no longer be named after a slave owner. Another example I can think of is Mr. Compton, Mochi, Gaonu, and our ACC. They make noise in support of the art and support and pride for our Hmong, many Hmong and Asian students. Ms. Thorsgaard and many other indigenous people and advocates made noise and now we acknowledge that our school sits on the ancestral home of the Dakota people. These are just a few examples of the amazing noise we make so our voices are heard. The second reason to make a lot of noise is cheering. We make noise to support the people and the things we love and enjoy. It was amazing to experience the feeling of receiving a standing ovation off stage with my sister and Little Shop of Horrors last year. The cheering we do for our sports team, with the help of Miss Erin encouraging us to cheer for the same team, is exactly the noise we need to push us to victory. In our CCC, College and Career Center, I heard cheers many times from Kong, India, and Brian when students shared their plans for the future, like college acceptances, internships, job opportunities, the noise we make for each other matters. The third, and maybe the most important reason to make noise, is one we don't think about as often. The noise we make for ourselves. How loud are you in encouraging yourself? How loud are you in sharing your goals? How loud are you in about what you are proud of? We so often learn to cheer for others, but I want us to take some time to cheer for, your, to, to cheer for yourself and here's your chance. Make some noise if you pass the class you thought was difficult. Make some noise if you made friendships in the last four years. And make some noise if you got your butt up and went to school even on days you didn't want to, staff included. last noise, I want it to be the loudest. I want all of you seniors to say your name loud and proud, to cheer for yourself. Your first name, your last name, nickname, full name, whatever name you think of when you think of yourself, because you should always be your biggest supporter. On the count of three, one, two, three. But together, the noise we make throughout our lives will shake the world. 
Thank you and congratulations to Henry Class of 2024.